So Eduardo Frieza is a first generation Italian American and is currently the SGA president and second and a second year at the Edward via College of Osteopathic Medicine. He earned degrees from the University of Delaware and University of Pittsburgh. While not studying for boards and school, he likes to spend time practicing on his saxophone. He's obsessed with coffee. Hello, everyone. Can we hear me OK? Because I'm on some spotty internet connection. But I think in uh, conjecture with the the theme of this event, you know, treasure the moment. I'm in the middle of nowhere, but we're here. Um, some family stuff came up. So anyways, um, can I get like some some sort of recognition that we're, you can hear me OK? We can hear I'll you. Hear you beautiful, beautiful. So uh, there's a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I want to say, uh, I don't know if any of you share some of these uh, phrases, but do you ever catch yourself saying something like, oh, maybe today I'm going to try and study pathology, or oh, I wish I had more time, or I would have done well on that exam, but there wasn't enough time, or I would have done that, but things, I would have done that thing, but I had to study for the exam, and I wish I had more time, but there just wasn't, and I'm here to say, get your butt out of your mouth, and that's the title of my talk, actually, so and when I say but, I'm not talking about the muscle, I'm talking about B-U-T. And because when you say words like that, you are essentially putting uh, like a limiter onto your vocabulary and your lexicon and your narrative. And so when you say something like that, you're already setting yourself up for failure before you've even begun the fight. So something like, oh, if you say, I will try, you're saying, I will try so long as X happens, which is almost tantamount to saying that you are a victim of circumstance, right? You're yielding too much power to the external factors, but leaving too little and leaving little ability to control the internal factors. And when I tell you that, um, maybe you heard of it, maybe you haven't, but when I say that changing the narrative to be as intrinsic and as positive as possible really changes the outcome and the life that you have, you know, to share a bit of a vulnerable moment, I, um, I've been many dark places. I've been dark place, I've frequented, I've checked in and out of the hotel multiple times and it's tough, it really is. And I think what ends up happening is that the stress of school gets to me, you know, responsibilities, other life happens and I make all these excuses. And well, maybe not excuses, but like I'm changing my narrative as if like the world is against me. And that is, hurting me right and when you and I'm just here to say that like having a positive narrative makes you become a painter and illuminates and illustrates a portrait that is in a positive light so the world opens up to you you get this beautiful imagery around the world the world becomes brighter you make better connections etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, and then kind of a second point of this is that when you, um, when you change the narrative to something positive, you're also putting power into your life. And I think that is something that can easily be unrecognizable because a lot of us may feel like with the stress of school and everything that you don't feel like you have power. And, uh, but, we're kind of in this weird position where we're student leaders, right? We're presidents of our school or we're in these higher positions and whether or not we want it, we're in the spotlight. People look to us thinking about uh, looking to us as an example, the person to lead coming to us with complaints, et cetera, et cetera. So why not engage and embrace the leadership and become the powerful person you're supposed to be? Engage in those words, engage in those phrases um, because you are creating yourself and making the powerful image that's going to inspire others, right? That's kind of the reason why we took this role. So when you say, instead of saying to try, say I'm going to do, instead of I hope, say uh, I'm going to, right? Uh, or like I am, or I wish instead of like, this will get done. Because you are again, changing the narrative and, um, and a little bit is like almost, a challenge from me to you to say, act like the leaders that we've embraced, become better leaders that you already are, 
and that will change everybody around you. And I think um, when you find that you continuously add to this beautiful narrative, the world becomes much more beautiful. So again, get your butt out of your mouth and thank you for coming to my Power Talk.